All right, everybody. All right, this is Zane from Really Easy AI, and it is another beautiful day in the neighborhood. We are talking about some hugging face features. Uh, I haven't talked a lot or, or even enough, in my opinion, about hugging face. I think that's probably another thing I'd like to get on the agenda. But at any rate, um, I'm a big fan of hugging face. And if you have never been to hugging face, you absolutely positively should go and explore it. Um, whether or not I do a series on which I can pretty much guarantee I'm going to at some point. Uh, with that said, <clears throat> I want to talk about something that they have come out with uh, April 23rd, introducing the Open Chain of Thought leaderboard. So now we have a COT leaderboard. Now, if you don't know what Chain of Thought is, uh, go back, take a look at my prompt engineering sessions, and we get into Chain of Thought. Chain of Thought is a extremely popular and uh, well-used uh, pattern that we use in prompt engineering, prompt design. So <clears throat> with that said, I'm assuming you know what chain of thought is. Let's talk about this new leaderboard they have. So chain of thought prompting is emerging as a powerful and effective design pattern for LLM-based apps and agents. Yes, it is. It actually has been for a little while now. The basic idea of chain of thought prompting is to let a model generate a step-by-step -step solution, reasoning trace, before answering a question or, take, or making a decision. With the OpenCOT leaderboard, we're tracking LLM's ability to generate effective chain of thought traces for challenging reasoning tasks. Very nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Unlike most performance-based leaderboards, we're not scoring the absolute accuracy a model achieves on a given task, but the difference between the accuracy with and without chain of thought prompting. So keep that in mind. It's not net um, accuracy, it is accuracy with and without COT. So that should be interesting. <clears throat> this allows us to truly inspect the impact of chain of thought uh, that chain of thought has on model accuracy. Note, without COT prompting, we use the log likelihood. Now, many of you may not know what that is. Um, if you're OpenAI API people, we call that the, that's the log props. So they're using the log props to uh, score the model on model choice evaluation. And if you haven't experienced that, then I highly encourage you to go check out my OpenAI API sessions. And I'll, I'll go ahead and remember to put links to both the prompt engineering pay playlist and the OpenAI API playlist at the end of this video. <clears throat> With that said, the OpenCOT leaderboard tracks the reasoning skills of LLMs measured as their ability to generate effective uh, COT reasoning traces. The leaderboard reports accuracy gains achieved by using chain of thought. Accuracy gain is the delta, that's what the little triangle is, between the accuracy with COT and the accuracy without C minus the accuracy without COT. The presumption here is that accuracy with COT is always going to be better, and then you subtract out the accuracy without COT and you get uh, the delta, right? The net gain. <clears throat> Um, see the About tab for more details and motivation. Great. We'll check that out here in a second. And so here, uh, search your model. So this is it. You get right into it. It's, it's kind of an article and the tool all together. And you can see here, uh, select columns to show, average, Logi QA, uh, uh, Logi QA2, so the different uh, log props, LSAT, so that's the law school admissions test, and away we go. So let's go ahead and check out the About tab real quick, <clears throat> how it works roughly. To assess the reasoning skill of a given model, we carry out the following steps for each task and, and different COT. A COT regime consists in a prompt chain and decoding parameters used to generate a reasoning trace. The model generates COT reasoning traces, uh, or yeah, uh, COT reasoning traces for all problems in the test data set according to the regime. The model answers the test data set problems. We record the resulting baseline accuracy. The model answers the test data set problems with the reasoning traces appended to the prompt, and we record the resulting COT accuracy. We compute the accuracy gain as the delta of COT accuracy minus baseline accuracy for the given model task and regime. So real straightforward. A notebook with detailed result exploration and visualizations available here. Aha! Uh-oh, did we just hit pay dirt? Okay, there's a nice little COT leadership results exploration. Hello. 
Okay. Uh, da, 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 data sets, like you face hub, Seaborn. Okay. It looks like they're going to do some visualizations. They got Seaborn in here. <clears throat> so, yeah. They, okay. Very nice. Let's see if we can find those visualizations that they generated. There they are. Ta da. Very Kyle. All right. Nice, nice, nice. So they're showing the. Uh, this looks like the net gain or loss here. It's interesting. Or maybe the spectrum of the gain or loss? No, this is definitely loss. Look, delta. Uh, okay. Da -da -da. Accuracy gains. Very cool. Man, this is great. Okay. This is yeah. This is awesome. All right. So know that that's there. If we uh, go to the, um, if we go to the. Hang on. I just had it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Do we go to the about tab? And then uh, I guess there's a submit here. Submit some good practices before submitting a model. Make sure you can load your model in tokenizer. So you can submit your own model if you want. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. Um, show gated, private, deleted model. So gated, private, or deleted model. So by default, I think it only shows open source models. Um, this will make it so it shows gated, private, and deleted models. I get private. Not familiar with the term gated. What is a gated model? Let's find out. <clears throat> a gated model is a model that has access requests enabled, which are only granted to individual users, not entire organizations. Uh, to provide access to early research models before they're released more than Okay, so it, it's basically got a gate. <laughs> it's Okay, that works for me. Okay, so um, we can see here the open source uh, groupings are here, and we can see Open Buddy is doing really, really well. Uh, Mixtral, Mixtral, every time I turn around, Mixtral's, you know, is turning into kind of the generic do it okay model. But uh, Mixtral 8x7b really seems to be getting its butt handed to it lately. In fact, uh, I just did a, an article on, um, or a session, what, what do we call these? News, a news video on uh, Phi 3 and Microsoft's Phi 3 kind of kicking Mixtral 8x7b's butt. Uh, let's, let's throw in the gated and private and deleted models and see what we got. Let's see here. So, okay. It wasn't quite what I was expecting, though. I thought it was going to really blow it out. Where's the... Where's OpenAI? Where's all that stuff? Is there a search capability? Search for your model. Okay. Or actually, I guess GPT, right? I have to... Yeah, it's not in here. Or at least if it is, I'm not finding it. Huh, is it not working? <laughs> there it goes. Okay, it is working. It just doesn't have... Uh, let's try uh, quad. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't have... Oh, that sucks. It would be nice if it had the, uh, the closed source stuff. It's, I thought that's what this was i guess not huh i guess these are i guess these are just the models on hugging face perhaps um interesting interesting so is it truly a cot leaderboard if they're not including all of them or am i missing something here let me know in the comments i don't think i'm missing something here is it just open source did they say it was just open source and i missed it La 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 la, scoring, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, open COT leaderboard, tracks the reading skills, and blah blah blah. They don't say it's just. <clears throat> How's it different? Performance leader leaderboards like the Oak Alumina do a great job in ranking models according to task, and like these leaderboards, it says as a model of open COT leaderboard. I guess open is the part, so it has to be open source. I guess it's in the name, isn't it? I just wasn't paying attention. So the open chain of thought leaderboard. Okay, okay, I, I'm, I'm down with that. I don't have a problem with that. 
So this is the open chain of thought leaderboard that we're talking about. Okay. Huh. That begs the question then. And I haven't really looked. Is there a hugging face chain of thought leaderboard? There's the open chain of thought leaderboard. The open LLM leaderboard all up, which, uh, well, no, that's open LLM leaderboard. Uh, no. All right, let's check out the open LLM leaderboard. Let's see if they're adhering to that standard. Is it just open source models? Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, it's just open source models. Okay, all right, well, that's, that's what's going on there. I guess they wanted a way to make sure that just the open source community was getting its stuff. I hadn't really thought about it, but okay, that makes sense. Oh, whoa, no, too far. All right, let's uh, go back to the OpenCOT leaderboard. Okay, so at any rate, at least with the open source models they have, you can set a whole bunch of parameters and see who's doing the best. And right now, it looks like, on average at least, OpenBuddy's doing pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. So very nice. Very nice. Now, some of you may be wondering, and I probably mentioned it in here, why on earth would they use the LSAT, the Law School Admissions Test? Um, they use that for a very simple reason. Uh, the LSAT, which, by the way, I took, uh, and I was going to be a lawyer, if you can believe that, at one point. The LSAT is nothing but just wall-to-wall -wall logic questions. That's, that's all it is. It's stuff like, if Bob can't sit, sit next to Mary, and Mary can't sit next to Jim, but, you know, Jim and Bob... Are, are in a love triangle then you know just shit like that you get the idea um so that kind of stuff is uh, why they're using law school admissions tests the lsat all right what's the motivation <clears throat> chain of thought prompting is universally applicable that may improve explainability and accuracy of the llm well 100 percent. We, we have empirical proof that it improves it and beyond that um which tasks are used open cot leaderboard oh here we go lsat data set uh, including subsets on analytical reasoning, logical reasoning, and reading comprehension. So they're taking pieces of the LSAT, analytical reasoning, logical reasoning, and uh, reading comprehension. Here are links to the data set. Let's take a look. Is that on Kaggle or something? Uh, from LSAT, the progress and challenges. Da, 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 da. Nope, there it is. Law school admissions test. So. Yay. That was a bear. Let me tell you. That was not fun. Uh, there was. I remember when I was taking it, <clears throat> And this is way back in the, uh, I hate to date myself, but this is back in the late 80s. And um, I remember as I was taking it, there were a couple of people who, like at different times, freaked out, kind of lost their shit and just kind of walked out. One of them just did it quietly, but you can see, the, I saw the look on his face as he was walking out. And um, the other one was a girl and, and she started crying, and, and she took off. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's when you know you're taking a serious test. Anyway, um, let's see. Da, da, da. So they just get into reasoning and how they do it. Actually, it'd be nice to, um, you know, since they direct us to the data set, getting your hands on some of those questions would be a great idea. Uh, so here we go. Let's have a look at an example. The following problem is from the LSAT log Logical Reasoning ben Benchmark. Editorial, the structure of the present school calendar was established to satisfy the requirements of early 20th century agricultural life. In those days, farmers needed uh, their children to have long breaks during which they could remain at home and help with the harvest. The contemporary school year is thus made up of periods of study interspersed with long breaks, but agricultural life no longer occupies most of our citizens, so we can now make changes that serve the interests of children. Therefore, long breaks should be removed from the school calendar. So that's the editorial. Which one of the following is an assumption on which the editorial's argument depends? And then you got to go through the logic, right? But da, da 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 and so on and so on. So um, <clears throat> that is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, mixed rule 8 by 7 b instruct 01 is doing fairly well in generating the following chain of prompt. So this is the example, right? So it does some traces, very cool, does a chain of thought, and therefore the assumption on which the editorial argument depends is D, a school calendar is made up of periods of long, yep, okay, very nice. 
So this is cool. And then they get into deeper aspects of what they're doing, uh, the types of decoding parameters, greedy, beam search, and sampling. I'm sure we'll get into that later on as well. Way down the road, though, this is much deeper stuff. And uh, what are the main takeaways so far? This looks good. We're gradually extending the OpenCOT leaderboard by evaluating more and more models. But current results, model count 30, already suggest some interesting insights. Mighty Dwarfs. We have been very pleased to see that relatively small 7B open LLMs are capable of effective, i.e. accuracy improving chain of thought reasoning in some cases at a better rate than bigger models. For example, a small model like Phi 2 benefits more than the mixture model from added COT traces. So that's cool. Instruction and chat fine-tuning helps. Fine-tuned models score much better than their corresponding base models. More specifically, fine-tuning may improve both the baseline accuracy without COT and the marginal accuracy through COT. We're going to look at fine-tuning. Uh, variable and ambiguous effects of COT, digging a bit deeper, we can see that there is no single preferred or superior COT generation regime. That means there's no one size fits all COT approach. What works best for one model and one task might not work for another model or another task. And sometimes COT reduces accuracy rather than increasing it. We take this as a reminder that finding an implementation of COT that is universally effective, reliable, and robust remains a challenging problem. Yes, as, as it should be, right? And then they get into the next steps. So pretty cool. And then there's more leaderboards. There's the Open Medical LLM leaderboard, the Live Coach Bench leaderboard. So Hugging Face is just a cornucopia of information. You should definitely check it out. With that said, we'll stop here. Uh, hopefully you get a chance to go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.